let's then talk about used oil analysis. So I've kind of shown you formulation capability. Now let's talk about used oil performance. So you saw some of the testimonials. So this is the used oil performance on those DD15 engines, okay? If you take a look at them, again, this is viscosity. So we're measuring viscosity here, lower limit for a 1540, higher limit for a 1540, okay? So this is consistent. No matter what oil you do, if, if, you, if you're looking at a 15W40, this is the upper limit, this is the lower limit on any, on any engine oil product. These dots represent the used oil analysis for all the trucks that are being tested. So we just, every time they do one, you, you just graph it on the chart. This is the number of kilometers at the bottom, okay? So maximum oil drain interval for the DD15 is 75,000 kilometers or 50,000 miles. And as we indicated before, we're getting out past here. So from a viscosity standpoint, actually we're starting to hit probably the upper limit somewhere in this 115, 120,000 kilometer range. Okay? So we talk about how we formulate Delo 400. Now this is starting to become the, okay, how does it actually work in the field? And we can, we can do that versus our used oil analysis. So that's that. Iron. So on iron, we're very concerned about iron because of valve train wear, piston ring liner wear. Okay, so this is, so if I'm looking at used oil analysis and I'm looking at an extended drain program or any kind of program, there's several key areas that I want to look at. First of all, viscosity. Okay, if my viscosity falls too low or too high, I'm not going to give appropriate protection to my pistons, rings, liners, and valve train. Okay, so that's, that's a very critical thing I want to look at first. The next thing I want to look at is my wear metals. So I want to look at iron. I want to look at either aluminum or lead and copper, okay? Now it varies a little bit. Why would I look at, why would I be concerned about aluminum or lead and copper? Well, in these engines, they have aluminum bearings, okay? So I would be more concerned about aluminum in this versus lead and copper. If I had a Cummins engine or if I had some other types of engines out there, I'd be concerned about lead and, and copper. Why? Because they use lead tin bearings with a copper underlay. So if I saw high lead or if I saw high lead and copper, I'd be very concerned about wear there in that, okay? Now the other thing about copper we have to understand about is there's oil coolers. And a lot of companies use copper oil coolers. So if you have a brand new engine, okay, you start running your engine and you look at used oil analysis, you may have some high copper initially. Well, that's not a concern for wear. That's a concern that the copper is just being passivated first. And it usually takes several, you know, in some cases, and I'll show you in this one, but in some cases it'll take up to 100,000 kilometers or 150,000 uh, uh, kilometers before that uh, oil copper uh, heater is, uh, or oil cooler is uh, passivated. So you'll see some high copper and then it'll just drop down to nothing, okay? But it's very important to understand what, what you have for uh, bearings. Uh, this is just another engine type. Um, these are Cummins engines, Cummins ISX-15. So this was another test that we were done. So again, we're taking it, we're taking a look at it. Again, getting out to some extended drains. But you can see I'm starting to kind of hit somewhere around that 75,000 kilometers. So if you noticed, on the DD-15 engines, I'm getting a lot farther. On these Cummins engines, I'm not getting as far, okay? Well, does that mean the oil's a problem? No, nope, same oil, right, Delo 400. What this also showcases is on used oil analysis, not all engines can go as far. And so that's why it's very critical if you start to look at an extended drain program or any kind of program, used oil analysis in some cases, will there are limits on some of the engines. Some engines go do better at, at longer extended drains, some don't. But used oil analysis will help you tell that. Okay? Again, iron here. <clears throat> See iron, again, pretty much under control. Uh, 120 parts per million is the max. Um, getting out to that 75,000. So we're still getting farther than what the, the, the red line, that red dotted line is the OEM uh, maximum drain level. We're getting uh, past that uh, by at least 15 or 20,000 kilometers. So again, the performance summary, good shear stability, good excellent soot uh, related viscosity control, uh, oxidation stability, and extended drain intervals. So you're able to go farther than what you, what you think you can with this particular Delo 400. So the other key thing is, you know, Delo 400 works across a lot of different segments. So I'd already shown you this one, kind of protecting the whole, uh, the whole vehicle. But it's not just trucks. We can do it with construction equipment. We have a full range of products, premium products, can help you on uh, construction equipment. 
So this is just one example of a piece of construction equipment. Agricultural tractors, so we can provide full protection across the whole line of the ag tractor. Okay. And as we indicated before, you know, we're really focused on, on what do the parts look like at the end. So this is that CAT C15 engine we tore down, got to 35,000 kilometer drain. So the one on the right is the new piston liner going in, the one on the left is the old. You can see that the cross hatching in here, if you look at it close, this is the cross hatching pretty well. Those are in there too, outside of the, you know, the, the scoring from just the combustion process. So good protection there. These are the bearings after 1.7 kilometer, uh, million uh, kilometers. It's really in great shape. They, now these are aluminum bearings. Okay, thrust side. This is the cover. No deposits, very little deposit, very clean. This is the Cummins, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is the pistons on the CAT C15. Again, very good control. You can see no deposits on those rings. Uh, the piston itself looks in great shape. Cummins M11, this was the trash truck that we did the teardown on. So this is the cover. Uh, very good, very good condition, no sludge. These are the rings on the Cummins M11. So you can see excellent shape, no piston deposits. Under crown looks very good. It's very clean. This is the liner. Again, you can see the hone marks. If you come up closer, you can see the hone marks still. Uh, great for oil consumption. And then this is the cam. Uh, very, no pitting, no scarring, uh, in great shape. So excellent protection overall. Um, so again, the key thing here is, you know, Delo 400, I think we've counted up, has gone now almost 200 million kilometers since it's in uh, uh, introduction back in 2003, I think. Um, so uh, doing a great job. Uh, it's a great product for you, especially if you want the most protection at all.